Hi everyone, my name is Donna. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a lot of things I've been crocheting lately. I pulled out um, skeins of yarn, you know, one and two skeins that um, I just had one skein of, so I thought I would make some things and use up some yarn I had on hand. So I counted up. I think I used about 50 skeins of yarn. So let me show you what I made. These first ones take um, a number six bulky yarn. And these are what I made. These are headbands. So they look like this. And you put a button over here and then it goes together like that. And I left a string here to um, sew my button on. But I do have a tutorial on how to make these. Um, but um, just quickly, these are the ones I made. They work up very quickly. You can do two, three, four in an evening. So these are some of the colors I did. And these are all different brands of yarn. Um, the Jiffy, Thick and Quick, the Lion brand, um, the one you get at Michael's, uh, Loops and Threads, the Hometown USA, just any of those number six bulky yarns. And there's most of them have about 90 yards on a skein, and then I would end up with about this much left. So these will go in my scrap bag, and I will make hats out of them, scrappy hats. So I made those. And then I had three skeins. I don't know what this yarn is. I don't think I had a label, no. But they, it has little baby pom-poms through it, throughout it. So I made three little baby hats. So there's a purple, a turquoise. And this one I had enough yarn left, I made a little flower. So I might put that on there somewhere. But most of them I used up the whole skein. This one. And it was just a pattern I made up. Uh, you just increase one, two, three, four, five rounds. And then I did a mesh round and then a double crochet round and a mesh round. I think I did a double crochet round and then I did some shell borders. So that was quick to do. And that one I used the eye hook to make those. I would say they're a number, a really lightweight number four yarn. And then you're going to see a lot of hats. <laughs> I made this hat with some scraps that I had left. And this was a Lana yarn that I had. And I, I don't know where I got all these yarns, I, you know, either secondhand stores, garage sales, or, you know, sales at Hobby Lobby, or Michael's, Joann's. But I made this hat. This one you just um, increase, I don't know, maybe four or five rounds, and then you do double crochet rounds and then down here you do single crochets. So I did that one. This was a Red Heart Mixology print, a number six bulky. So I made this hat. The, the, several of these are my go-to hat pattern. Um, I will link it below. You can use a number five bulky weight, number six bulky weight, or two strands held together to make that hat. This one was bamboo spun yarn. It's 
Uh, oh, it does have a Hobby Lobby sticker on it. But I probably picked it up at garage sale or something. So I made this hat. And again, it's the double crochet and then single crochet around the bottom. That one I had quite a bit of yarn left. So not sure what I'm going to do with that. So I made that one. And then this was a Mary Maxim monthly kit. And I think I had a pretty good start on this. I just needed to finish it, but it's this shawl. Bella Wrap. And it came with, I think, five, yeah, five skeins of yarn. And this was the yarn Red Heart Unforgettable. The color is Parrot. And it, with the kit, it came, um, came one of these crochet hooks. The Chow Goo, I think is how you pronounce it. But really nice. I really like that hook. It's uh, like wooden. So this is my shawl. No, I can't get it all in there, but it's pretty long. And I had some yarn left, and you know, I like to use up my yarn. So I just started doing rounds of single crochet around the border to use up that yarn. So I ended up with this much left. So I made that. And this was another Mary Maxim monthly kit. And you were supposed to make these little booties, low cuff booties. So you got five skeins of yarn to make these booties. And they're number five bulky white. So I thought I am not going to make those booties. Here's what it is, Mary Maxim Titan. So you got four skeins of brown and one skein of red. So I made hats. <laughs> so I this hat made five hats. This one again is my go-to hat pattern. So I made two of those. And then there's one red. I'll show you this pattern in a minute. I love this pattern. So I made that red one. Brown one. This brown one. And I love these hat use. I think it's a J hook. I don't know. I'll look here in a minute. But it's real soft, cushy. I love these. Okay, so that pattern, it was a free pattern from Crochet World. Chunky chain button scarf and hat. But I just used the hat. And on those that I just showed you, I didn't do these bottom rounds. So you're supposed to put a button on here. But I'll show you some in a minute that I did do that. <clears throat> okay, this was a cowl, Red Heart Soft. This is the cowl pattern was on the label. And this colorway is cinnabar. Very pretty. Um, and the pattern is LW5118. I don't know if you can see that. But that is the pattern number for this cowl. I really enjoy doing it, but this is what it looks like. I think that's the back side. I was going through all these projects last night, and there was a bunch that I had not w woven in the tail end, so that's what I was doing last night for a couple hours. 
So this is what that cowl looks like. Isn't that pretty? Now they had you start with a right in with the pattern, but I did a double crochet around before I started with the pattern. I did that at the um, beginning and the end. I just thought that finished it off a little better. And this is a Big Twist yarn. I got this at Joann's. Love this yarn. It is so soft. So I made one of those hills and valleys cowls. Love this pattern too. I don't think you can find it anymore, but it is very simple. You do a double crochet round, you do a treble crochet round, and then you do a back post treble crochet round. That's all there is to it. Double crochet, treble crochet, back post treble crochet. And you're supposed to end on a double crochet round. Doesn't always work out that way, but one of my favorite patterns. I have this much yarn left. Okay. Um, another hat. This is Red Heart Echo Ways yarn. Colorway is Blue Cloud. So I made this hat. I think it was out of one of my pattern books. A little shell hat. And I had this much yarn left with that one. Throwing these on the floor after I show you. I'm in my kitchen. I got all this stuff piled on the table. Okay, next, um, I had a bag full of hometown yarn. This is Providence Pink. I had one, two, maybe three or four skeins. Maybe three. Three skeins of this. So I made more headbands. Again, I need to sew my button on. Once you get the button on, there's your little headband. You can wear the button to the side of your head. My niece likes to wear hers in the front, but I um, made these so this this is less bulky back here and it's supposed to go in the back of your neck, but you can wear it however you want. So I've got four, four headbands out of those, I don't know, three or four skeins. And this much yarn left. Go in my again. Go in my scrap bag. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, another Mary Maxim kit, monthly kit. This one you're supposed to make hats and a scarf. So I kind of followed that. I made some hats and a scarf. I did my own patterns, not theirs. So there was one, two, three, three skeins of this Peruvian alpaca, and then one skein of the Lion Brand Spinella. So I made this pattern again, this one here with the with the Peruvian yarn I made some of those hats. I love these. Now these I need to see here's your little tab where you need to add the button. So I left a tail so I can sew on my button. So I made one, two, three, four of those. 
and I had this much yarn left. And then with that spinella yarn, I did make a scarf. I added another skein of yarn with it. Um, I think it was kind of like um, a real soft, like, oh, I can't remember, Karen Simply Soft maybe. Anyway, I held two strands together, that spinella and the Simply Soft, and I just knitted. No, I didn't. I crocheted this one. <laughs> I crocheted. So this is it. It's pretty long. Pretty long. It's nice and soft. And uh, what I did, it's hard to see your stitches when you crochet. So I cre crocheted between the stitches. And I just did double crochets. So made that. And then I had three skeins of yarn, the Burnett Roving. And as you can see, I got it 50 cents, second hand store probably. Three different colors, so I took my number 15 knitting needle. Look at it, it's got a little kitty cat on it. And I can't remember how many stitches I started with. Maybe 20, 20 stitches? But I made this scarf. So there's blue, and there's kind of a gray color, and then a brown. So, and it's pretty long, nice and soft. But I left, I haven't cut it off yet. Because I thought I'd make it into like a cowl, you know, like um, stitch my ends together, and then it would be a big circle. So that's what I'm kind of thinking to do with that one. Okay, we're almost done. So behind me on the chair, I had scraps of a lot of variegated yarns, so I just added a color to it. So I have a variegated yarn and a solid color yarn, two strands held together, and I made hats just to use up some of those scraps. And again, these are my go-to hat pattern, so the brown one, this one. Red, white, and blue. Another red, white, and blue. That, that one I just showed you, I held a royal blue with this. This one I held a white together with it. This one. This one I ran out of the yarn, so I just did all the bottom couple rows in a dark blue. That one I think, I can't remember, I might have held a black together with this one and then this one I used more of a tan. Blue. Blue. Again I ran out of the blue so I just went and found some more to match. That one. That one I held a white together with the variegated. I think this one I did too. This was a blue. So I used up a bunch of scraps of yarn. Got some hats made. A lot of hats. I usually give my hats to um, cancer centers or um, I recently found, um, what's it called, Amer Warm Up America. They have a page that shows you, you know, places in need and I noticed there was some home homeless shelters so I might send the hats to them. Okay I'm down to the Afghans. So 
So this was, I had some scraps again, so I thought, well, I'll just do uh, three granny squares. So I did three granny squares. And then I just sewed them together. And then I did a bunch of borders around it. I just went through my stash and just found, it started with um, this variegated yarn right there. I don't know if you can see it. I kind of pulled colors to, to match those. Let me see if I can stand up. And go backwards a little bit. This is what it looks like. So this will be a nice shawl or wrap for someone. And these I give to um, cancer patients like hospice or people going through chemotherapy. That way they can you can either use it as a blanket or you can wrap it around, you know, like a shawl. Wrap it around you. So I did that one. <clears throat> and just trying to find my label. So I had a one of those Karen Big Cakes. Your inspirations. And these have about 600 yards on them. So I pulled out four other skeins to match that skein. I pulled a rust, a light maroon, a dark maroon, and a tan. And I made a granny square blanket. Okay, need to go back farther. So that is what that looks like. Oop, wrong way. And again, this is good for um, hospice patients, cancer patients, you know, someone in the nursing home. They can just put it over them. Real quick and easy to do. I love doing those. Okay, last but not least, um, someone gave me these flowers. I showed you a couple videos ago. I had put these squares together with some dark green. But these, I it was just the pink flowers. So I made up a pattern to go around the pink flowers. And then I added, I held two strands together, a light blue and a dark blue. So I put all these squares together. So it made, let's see, four. I have four by five squares. So I made that blanket. All right, well, I think I think I showed you all of it. Um, I'm going to do this again. I'm gonna I started pulling out more skeins of yarn uh, to make some more projects to use up yarn I have on hand. So when I get that those done, um, I will do another video that hopefully I will do it sooner so I don't have quite as much stuff um, that way the video will be shorter I do have some other um, projects that I want to show you that I've been working on so hope to do some videos of those real soon but that is all for now thank you so much for watching and subscribing and hopefully I'll be back soon everyone take care bye Hi everyone, I'm back. I have a question for you. Uh, once a year at our church, we have an event where everything is donated, uh, crafts, baked goods, uh, all kinds of food, 
um, and it is sold in one day uh, and then all the proceeds go to World Hunger. So I give, like I said, some of my things to hospice and other organi organizations and then a lot of my things go to the church. So we have um, like a three or four hour time frame that day to get these items sold and then what's not sold goes into a box and it's sold on an auction which you know that still brings in money but not as much if you would sell things individually so I was wondering if I would sell things online you know would any of you be interested in buying any of my things um, like you know this this shawl that I showed you um, this fluffy scarf, cowls, anything like that. I don't know. And then the money would still go to the church, to the world hunger. But I don't know how I would do it. I don't know if you can sell things on YouTube. If I could just, you know, hold something up and say this is the price. Um, if anybody knows, please let me know. Um, you know, there's Etsy. I've seen ads recently for, I think it's called Shopify, where you can sell handmade items. Um, but just let me know. Let me know if you would even be interested in buying any of my things. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. So thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.